uh, obviously, DeepMind is at the frontier and has been for many years. Uh, you know, with systems like Office Zero and so yeah. forth of having these agents who can like think through different steps to get to an end outcome. Yeah. Um, are, it, will this just be is a path for LLMs to have this sort of uh, tr tree search kind of thing on top of them? How, how do you think about this? I think that's a super promising direction, in my opinion. So you know, we've got to carry on improving uh, the large models, and we've got to carry on. Um, basically making them more and more accurate predictors of the world. So in effect, making them more and more reliable world models, that's clearly a necessary, but I would say probably not sufficient component of an AGI system. Um, and then on top of that, I would, you know, we're working on things like alpha zero like planning mechanisms on top that make use of that model in order to make concrete plans to achieve certain goals in the world um, and, and perhaps sort of chain, you know, th uh, chain thought together or lines of reasoning together and maybe use search to ex kind of explore massive spaces of possibility. I think that's kind of missing from our current large models. Is there any potential for the AGI to eventually come from just a pure RL approach? Like the, the way we're talking about it, it sounds like there'll be uh, the LLM will form the right prior and then this sort of tree search will go on top of that. Yeah. Or is there a possibility of just like completely I, out of the I, dark? I think I certainly, you know, the, theoretically, I think there's no reason why you couldn't go full alpha zero like yeah, yeah. on it. And there are some people uh, here at, DeepMind, at, at Google DeepMind and, and, and in the RL community who work on that, right? Um, fully uh, assuming no priors, uh, no data and, and just build every, all knowledge from scratch. Um, and I think that's valuable because of course you could, you know, you, those those ideas and those algorithms should also work when you have some knowledge yeah. too. Um, but having said that, I think by far probably my betting would be the quickest way to get to AGI and the most likely plausible way is to um, use all the knowledge that's existing in the world right now on things like the web and that we've collected and we have these scalable uh, algorithms like D like um, transformers that are capable of ingesting all of that information. And I don't see why you wouldn't start with a, a model as a kind of prior or, or to build on and to make predictions that helps bootstrap your learning. I just think it, it it doesn't make sense not to make use of that. So my my, my betting would be is that um, you know uh, uh, the the final AGI system will have these large multimodals um, models as part of the, the the overall solution, but probably um, won't be enough on their own. You will need this additional planning search on top. How do you get past the sort of immense amount of compute that these approaches tend to require? So even the AlphaGo uh, system was you know a pretty expensive system because um, you had to do this sort of uh, run an LLM on, LLM on each node of the tree. Uh, how, how do you anticipate that'll get more made more efficient? Well, we focus a lot on efficient, you know, sample efficient methods and 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 reusing uh, existing data, things like experience replay, um, and also just looking at. Uh, more efficient ways. I mean, the better your world model is, the more efficient your search can be. So one example I always give with AlphaZero, our system to play Go and chess and, you know, any game, is that um, it's stronger than world champion level, human world champion level, uh, all these games. Um, and it uses a lot less search than a brute force method, um, like Deep Blue, say, to play chess. Deep Blue, uh, uh, one of these traditional stockfish or Deep Blue um, uh, systems would maybe look at millions of uh, possible moves for every decision it's going to make. Alpha Zero uh, and Alpha Go made, you know, looked at around ten, tens of thousands of um, possible positions in order to make a decision about what to move next. But a human grandmaster, a human world champion, uh, probably only looks at a few hundreds of moves, even the top ones, in order to make their very uh, good decision about what to play next. So that suggests that Obviously, the brute force systems don't have any real model other than the heuristics about the game. Uh, Alpha Zero has quite a decent uh, uh, model, but the world, but the human, you know, human top human players have a much richer, much more accurate model than of Go or chess. So that allows them to make you know world class decisions on a very small amount of search. So I think there's still there's a sort of trade off there. Like you know, if you improve the models, then I think your search can be more efficient, and therefore you can get further with your search. Yeah. I have two questions based on that. Uh, the first being, with Alpha's Go, you had um, a very concrete win condition of, you know, at the end of the day, do I win this game of Go or not? And you can reinforce on that. Uh, when you're just thinking of like an LLM putting out thought, what will uh, do you think there will be this kind of ability to discriminate uh, in the end, whether that was like a good a good thing to reward or not? 
Well, of course, that's why we, you know, we pioneered and, and DeepMind's sort of famous for using games as a proving ground, um, partly because obviously it's efficient to research in that domain. But the other reason is obviously it's, very, it's you know, extremely easy to specify a reward function, winning the game or improving the score or something like that sort of built into most games. So that is the, the that is the, the one of the challenges of real world systems is how does one define uh, the right objective function, the right reward function, um, and the right goals um, and specify them in a in in you know in a general way, but that's specific enough and 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 actually points the system in the right direction.